Hello everyone, and welcome to Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I have not played this before, but I have been requested for years from friends and fans alike to play this game. So we're going to stream it. I'm looking forward to this. I've heard so many great things, and every single time this little cutscene tries to show me parts of the game, I don't want to know. This, I'm sure this is obvious. I'm sure it should go without saying. Please don't spoil anything. Don't mention anything in the game. Don't, don't... Unless, unless I'm like absolutely stuck on a puzzle or something. Shh, nothing. Shh, no. Shh, no, no, no. Don't, no. <laughs> don't say a thing. Don't do it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be amazing. So, new game. Let's go. Um... Battles will be easier, recommended for players who prefer to focus on the story. Default setting, you can expect to enjoy some challenging battles. I'm gonna regret my decision, but I'm going for normal because ah, yeah, regrets will be had. It's gonna be good times. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. I don't believe they've ported this to the PS4, and they should totally do that. Because this game looks gorgeous from what I've seen of it. The very, very little amounts that I've seen. And, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good time. On, Ollie boy. Slow down, Mr. Drippy. But Ding Dong Dell's just on the way. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Huh? Is this the Lion King human version? You you moved on pretty quick. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> so this is your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, isn't it? Right into the game. Yeah, it's a level five game, so the people who made uh, Professor Layton. Um, and yeah, the animation is Studio Ghibli, so <laughs> that's impressive, to say the least. You're spoiling things for me, game! What are you doing? <laughs> nah, I don't care. Oh, there's a desert! God damn it, game! Spoilers! Oh, there's a volcano! Oh, why would you do the No, I really don't care. It's fine. The game's teasing very, very little. It's, it, I would be incredibly surprised if the game actually spoiled anything major. So, I was, like, under the impression that this was an immense epic, and by that I mean, like, a hundred hour game. Um, from what I've been told, the prologue intro thing is around one to two hours, and then after that it's around 15 to 20 hours. So, that makes this very manageable. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to have to work ludicrously hard in December to finish this, because I'm working, like, every day. Um, throughout that time, so it's just like, okay, got to find some time to finish this game. But actually, no, that seems very achievable, so hey! This game just looks gorgeous, though. I'm really looking forward to seeing where it's going. Like, I'm, I have a feeling, I mean, I'm... If from the title alone, I can assume that there is a white witch, and the white witch is evil. Um, but beyond that, I'm fully expecting there... I've been told I'm going to need tissues... Presumably because I'm going to cry, not the other thing. Um, so I'm I'm gonna I, I'm expecting to cry at some point. I'm expecting a massive plot twist to happen. It's gonna be good. Looking forward to it. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? So he finally finished it, huh? Do you know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'll have gotten far. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing, Miss Layla. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, 
Ollie. Over here. Oh, it's Phil. Yeah, Phil. Gotta go see Phil. He's drunk from EastEnders. Good. Excellent. Hey there, Phil. How you doing? My dude, how are you? you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? What else would it be, dum-dum? Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? What else? We take your first spin. Tonight. What? Tonight? Well, I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom. And... Sure, sure. You go ask your mom. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Well, I... No, but... Okay, we'll do it tonight. But we'll have to be real quiet. Bring me crystals! <laughs> so, he's... Yeah, he's be, built some kind of vehicle. A car, or massive plane, or something else. So, this is the child who will save the world. Or so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. The dark djinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? Cool, alright. The mini map will be displayed top right of the screen. As you travel around this map, lets you see your immediate surroundings. So I want to switch to the local map showing the view of the hotel. Okay. And uh, let's see where to go next. Okay, cool. Can do. So... Ah, I see. Fair enough. That's cool. I like that. Neat. Alright, we're going this way then. We can indeed step into the road. Can I be run over? No. <laughs> like, that's the first thing I check. Can I die? No. Good. Excellent. Good news. So, yeah, I'm guessing we have some kind of car that's been built for... Uh, Get to try it out. Will it look as fancy as these? No. <laughs> I very much doubt it. I'm home, Ma. Can I go out tonight? We've got a wicked vehicle. We're gonna almost die, I'm sure. That's the plot twist. Hey, Mom. I got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? You are very British. <laughs> You've never watched a Studio Ghibli film? Ah, oh, you need to see something. Kinda busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh yeah? So, you'll be in bed kinda early, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? <laughs> will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? You'll be late for school. And chew before you swallow. It's bacon. If you die eating bacon, you're not going to be sad. He ate that fast, though. He only had one egg left. Thanks for breakfast. She just sat down. <laughs> See you later, How did you eat two rashes of bacon and two eggs in five seconds? I will. Oh, it's a remake of a DS game. Okay. Hey, Phil. You didn't go to school yet? <laughs> School schmoll. Today's a special day, kiddo. Today's the day our dream machine finally rolls off of the drawing board and onto the streets of Motorville. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait. I'm gonna see it. Oh, that cowboy, not so loud. Don't forget this is our secret. You didn't. You said vehicle and Motorville. All he said was, when can I see it? That could refer to anything. Hey, dum dum. I think you're the dum dum. You didn't tell your mum about it, did you? No, I did not. I asked if her if she was busy, and she said she has concert practice. So she'll be in bed real early. <laughs> Perfect. And tonight's the night. You still in, kiddo? Sure I am. Tonight at your garage. I'll be there. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> Is it gonna do the stereotypical, like, you accidentally stand on, like, a million... Like, really loud piece of paper accidentally set off a, a, a cowl toy that just goes and wakes your mum up or something. She must be asleep by now. Neither. She's out like a light. That's my chance. I have to get to Phil's garage. Let's go. 
garage, garage, whichever. Press triangle to open the main menu. You will then be presented with a range of options. Use up, down, left, right to select an option and press X. <laughs> Having chosen an option, you can return to the main menu by pressing circle. <laughs> press it again to return to the game. Additional menu options will become available to you as you progress to the game. Open the main menu and press not to save your game. Once you've saved your game, you can select continue from the title screen to restart from the point where you left off. You can now use the main menu. That was a fun little jingle. Look, here's the menu. It has settings. Oh, can you change the... Oh, you can change the difficulty. That's kind of nice. Your music, stuff, vibration. Sure, why not? Let's have that. Uh, let's make it a little bit faster. Um, mini map rotation. Nah, I don't think we need that. And that seems good. Alright, and that's all good and dandy. Let's go on. Accidentally falls down the stairs. <laughs> You're not exactly being quiet, but sure. We did it. Hooray. That's where we're going. Cool. Uh, can we get through here or do we have to go around? Yeah, we have to go around. Fair enough. Can do. Ha oh, I wonder if she's like, Why are you not in bed? Hi, good evening, Oliver. What are you doing out so late? That would be funny if he just, like, broke down completely, like, I am sorry, Mum! Hello, potential what protagonist. What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, this is a tiny vehicle. <laughs> so, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Want to see? It's gonna explode. Do I ever? All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Wow. Actually, oh, not so bad. Neat, this is so so neat. You betcha. <laughs> the new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not even close. So it has you ready to hit the road, kiddo? one seat. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you strap a seat onto the top, which is just unsafe. Okay, there's nobody around. We should take her outside now. So, uh, Phil, you guess let's drive first. Hmm. Hmm, let's see now. Tell you what, kiddo, if you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, wait right here. Watch out for Starry Mary, will ya? Starry Mary? You know, the girl who was spying on us before? I swear that kid is cracked. See, there she is again! I bet that tattletale goes straight to the other olds. She wouldn't do that. What are you, sweet or something? Go check out front already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. So yeah, who are we gonna... Like, are we gonna accidentally run someone over? Like, something super bad is gonna happen. I bet. I don't know what, but something will happen. I don't like where this is going. Alright. The ghost is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver. Don't go. Huh? But who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh... That girl over... Huh? What are you talking about? What? There's nobody there. Oh, that's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh, no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> hmm. Well... I wonder if that's an indication of it. We shouldn't go. Yes, 
to speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, your ravens? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, your ravens. I'm assuming that's the White Witch. She looks rad. Mom, help me! <gasps> oh, that's not a good sign. Oh no. Sweetie. <sighs> I see where this is going. you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Oliver. Oliver. Why do I sense that I'm going to cry at some point within the next half an hour? I mean, it's impressive that Phil made it. But you are this kid's downfall. Well done. <laughs> Please don't, game. Oh. Okay. I mean... That I technically didn't see coming. I thought he was going to run over his mum. Oh, thank God. I mean, not thank God. I mean, he wrecks the car, but... I'm so glad you're alive, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk, I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. I think you're taking this very, very well. <laughs> Are you okay, Phil? I just twisted my ankle back there. Whatever will you children get up to next? <laughs> what? Allie, Allie. Uh, Allie? Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? Oh, oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom? Oh, I'll fetch the doctor. Mom! Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom? You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me.
I am not happy. Oh boy, I'm so glad that no one fucking hosted during that death scene. Oliver, honey. Cause use some apple pie. no. Just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? Just have to wait and tell dinner, Timmy told her. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today. She's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Oh, is that the creature from the other world? Mommy. Does it, like, come real? Is something wrong, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. <laughs> Mommy. Come back. Okay. <laughs> huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High. Bring me crystals. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you a sniveling and mourning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days. I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's a new dog. What? I, uh... Oh, dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Uh-huh. Tidy. Like you style, very honest, and anyway, you stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. <laughs> okay. On with the show! Oh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by Earth. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of you or what? And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, the whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Trying to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into yours, the rotter. Uh huh. And then you went and cried all over me, and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shaddaa for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I... Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right, especially with me to help you. But I... 
Oh, want me to ask properly, Duke Fedus? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... Um... No. <laughs> Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on, once more, but louder. I won't do it. I... I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely, and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. What, because you and Mom dropped dead? Uh, yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh. Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you a ma'am, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and you and Mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your Mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. Well, that's incentive. How do you know all this, Mr. Drivy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. But and abreast in the same sentence. Mm. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there too. Having them spy on Shadar and that, you know, tidy, huh? Congratulations, that was the worst, like, joke or, like, observation I've ever made. Woo! Come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvelous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy, we better get going then. Chop chop. Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there, so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. Well, that's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> this is spectacular. I, I like our new... Wow, team moved down the stairs quick. I like our friend. Our new friend is pretty great. Here's the fireplace. I, uh... I expect to find something. hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't, now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion. The fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. You obtained the wizard's companion. That you did. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do his accent. Now oh, listen up! I can't do it. I can't do his voice. It's not a voice I'm good at. I'm gonna teach you what's what in that wizard's companion of yours. If you want to have a read of it, press triangle to open the main menu. You should see it down at the bottom, not right in there. Then you need to choose it with the X and you can leave the wizard's companion. Right, it's con yeah. <laughs> oh boy.
I'm I'm a bad I'm a bad voice for this guy. You're gonna be smart, yeah. I'm I'm a guy. This is weird, yeah. Yes, wizard's companion, make the pledge, need to vow, do the thing, where have you been the wizards, please? What was that? That was my voice of excellence, I think you'll find. Best accent right there, top notch, very good, a 10 out of 10. Anyway, don't look so flippin' worried, it's not hard. All you have to do is write your name in the book with an open honest heart. And you don't even have to write all of it if you don't want, you can write bunting, crybaby, or whatever you like. The important thing is that you mean it. Go on, scribble your name down. Oh, good, so I could put, oh, I don't know. Um, Beth's, Beth's, uh, uh, I could put Beth's in. Beth's, Beth's, I could put Beth's in if I want. I could do that. Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that that's what I could do? Are you saying that I could do that? I would say it's more Welsh, actually. It has a Welsh lilt, but I don't know if that's... I don't know if it's accurate. Um, but, uh... Yes. No, it's not Irish. Uh, but, yeah, if I wanted to call Beth Sturgeon... Uh, if I... if for, for example, if I really wanted to. Or, you know, I could just call myself... A radical name, I'm sure. Teal. Again. Teal again. No. We'll just we'll just just teal, I think. Just just teal. I think that'll be fine. I've got I, I've taken the wizard's pledge. I'm now privy to the timeless wisdom of the wizard's companion. Good for me. I look forward to dying trying to do his voice. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by you? We can't go casting spells without the wand, now can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, oh, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Off-lit. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right at least, was it? Oh. Nice. Right, so, time to find ourselves a magic wand. You mean there's one hidden somewhere around here? Like the spell book? Ha! <laughs> You're having a laugh if you think I'm gonna make it that easy, man. What do you think I am? Made of wizard and equipment? Oh, this one's gonna be a little more difficult. But our journey over to my world is a hunt for a soul snare, among other things. So why don't you treat this as a warm-up? The Easter egg hunt before the wild goose chase, if you will. Uh, huh? Uh, okay, I guess? Okay, I'm lying. The thing is, I never brought one with me. I mean, look at me. The price of my lovability is my small stature, ain't it? I only just managed to carry that flippin' bugman. Any more and I'd have been crushed. So even fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. These fairies are in Just dyslexic liars. Anyway, no point crying over spill. Oh, let's find ourselves a substitute, shall we? A substitute? How can that be a substitute for a magic wand? Well, if you can find something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick, we might just be able to meddle through. Uh, okay. You sure a stick will work? Do you think I'm sending you up the garden path or something? Fine, I'll give you a hand. Follow me, Bunton. Okay. Good. Alright then, I will follow you. That is not a stick, that is a pole. Huh? What are you looking at? Don't tell me you are thinking of using this lamppost as a flippin' wand. Or you can cut that out for a start, it's way too flippin' big. We need a stick or something, like that, innit? Why don't we go have a look over by there? Okay. You're gonna go to the car? Yeah, this is a car, this is not a stick. This is one proper tidy motor, eh? I get myself one of these. <clears throat> oh, yeah, no, it's not really time, is it? <clears throat> And anything worn like over by here either. Let's uh, go look at the other side, shall we? Okay. Oh, when you find something, don't forget to pop it in your bag for safekeeping. Look up at the top left of the main menu and you'll see your uh, bottomless bag. In there you'll find all your items nicely sorted into different categories. That's handy. Use L1 and R1 to shift between the categories. Of course, there ain't much to see at the moment, but uh, when you've got loads of stuff, you'll be glad of a bit of order in it. 
Anyway, next time you pop it in Tidium, uh, be sure and have a closer look at it in your bottomless bag. Yes. Put it in my bag. Okay, sure. Yeah, I got a bag. Hooray. Yes, $1,500. That's how much my new computer will be when I, uh, when I have to replace it very, very soon. It's going to be a fun time. Look forward to spending all that cash. It's going to be good. It's a lot of monies. It's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You're not wrong, Bunton. Alright, we better split it up then. But on the search, like, yeah. I'll go and take another quick look around your house, and you stay uh, by you and head up at the outside search, okay? Uh huh. Okay. Will I be building the computer? No. <laughs> no, I will not. Oliver! See the little girl again? Uh huh. Oh, it's you! Yay, it's the girl! Conveniently, I'm going to give you a wand. Here's the wand. Take the wand. You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. Well, I am building one. I'm not building it myself. I've gone to a website that will build what I want. I myself am technically not building it. Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... How would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you? Go. Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure, go ahead. Do you mind it, you know, having a sidekick? Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was alright me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground. Right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand! You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Dude, I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Yeah, I obtained an old stick. Now we need a place to cast our spell. My computer is currently five years old, but I use it religiously every day. Like it's a constant um I'm like constantly using it for recording, rendering, editing like, non-stop, pretty much every day, so it's just, like, it's, it's so dying, like, my recordings corrupt a lot of the time, like, the editor shuts down every so often, things are just slow, it's just like, oh, I know I need to get a replacement, I don't want to, but, mmm, so, yeah, it's gonna be good times, looking forward to it. You need somewhere proper massive, you need space to give it oomph, see it? Do we really need that much oomph? Oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, isn't it? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. 
You really are new to this, are you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. All right, let's go to the town square. Where exactly is that on the map? Up there. Gotcha. I can go there. I probably shouldn't talk to anyone because they'll be like, "What is that? Why is it chasing you? Should I kill it? Let me get the rifle. What do I even?" 